What's up guys, we're back with Explain It Part 6 off the new album 28. The song we're going to be discussing today is The Occult. So first thing with this song, every now and then I try to do a song where I do some research and try to figure out the meaning and then make a song regarding that. So The Occult is basically, to sum it up, it's like a mystical or phenomenon, a feeling. Um, kind of like a realm of possibilities. It's possible in life, you know, if you put things um, forward and you put your mind to do things, life could be, it could be magical, you know what I'm saying? And I figured out specifically the title for the song, then I was able to create um, the sound behind everything and make everything connect. To get that feeling, to get the occult feeling, um, I picture myself in the future getting to where i want to be i say i'm always on the go but i'm always low key so it, busy doing stuff errands and stuff like that but i try to be as low key as possible especially with like social media like yeah i'll post some things every there and then but i don't feel the need to post every single thing that i'm doing but over the last few years i've been really keeping myself it just feels like it makes things easier people don't always need to know where i'm at but every now and then you got those people you want to catch up and let them know what's going on, let them know everything's good or vent and stuff like that. So that's important as well. The music thing, my goal obviously is to be on that stage, to be performing, doing what I love and singing what I love too. It takes a lot. It's going to take a lot to get there. And I acknowledge that, but that is my goal. And so having that goal is going to get me to where I need to be, to be on that stage. I talk about how my name's going to be a mainstay, you know what I'm saying? I want to be a household name. I want to know people um listen to my music and enjoy my music and not not just for the enjoyment of the sound of course but enjoying what it actually is that i'm uh, portraying with my music so like when i think to my favorite artists like drake the weekend Pulse malone and kanye um, and there's so many other artists that i'm just not naming those are the four i can think of right now they're my particular favorites they all have songs that you can relate to like that man like everything in the song makes so much sense and I felt those certain ways at some point in time or I feel like I might um you know when I get older it's really important for me to like have that connection with that music um because it makes me feel connected to other people if I like your music and it sounds good and I can relate to what you're saying that's like my perfect artist and those four artists are not perfect but they are top top four for sure that's what I wanted that's who I want to be with my music as well. I want to be, um, I want to be that guy, you know what I'm saying? Just more importantly for me, um, because I know the potential that I hold and sometimes I forget and it's okay. Once I get back to making things and especially listening to my old stuff, it keeps me fueled and it keeps me confident to know that I have so much room to grow and the possibilities are endless. The hook to the song that really pays it forward because I talk about how I need to pray more and my God, I definitely need to pray more. As religious as I am and um, what I believe in and believing that God you know, has a purpose for all of us and put us in this situation for a reason. Sometimes I don't fully buy in and it's not the fact that I'm not bought in, it's the fact that I don't use that outlet as much as I feel like I could you know, to understand how blessed I am. I, for sure know that I need to pray more and know that when I do pray more, um, what I ask for or you know what I'm looking for can happen. So it's just about paying it forward and thinking about the future and thinking about how important um, those conversations with God can be and have been in my past. And I wanna to continue to better my life in all sorts of different ways and um, Spiritually, I know that that's really important to have and pray throughout the day and ask God for things and forgiveness and stuff like that and just making life as a whole easier for myself. Towards the end of the song, I go over how I, you know, keep to me. I say, do you really want to know why I keep to me? The reason is that it just feels easier to, to do my own thing, to be in my room, close the blinds, just lock in whatever I'm doing because when I'm locked in, everything in life gets better. If I'm doing my music, if I'm doing creative things, if I'm making logos, if I'm designing stuff and creating music and working on my website and all that stuff, like that's me and my element. So I'd rather just be left alone, let me lock in and do what I gotta do. I do wanna get better at um, turning that off and being with family and being with friends more, enjoying the life outside, of course. I do know at the same time how important it is to really grind in this music thing because there's 
millions of artists out there. There's millions of different songs. There's so many different genres. Everyone has their outlet of music. Me, I'm just trying to find my outlet, my genre, and be able to keep the same people and find my stands and my fans and bring back you know, the same people every time they listen to music because they know what I'm going to be doing. So I think that's important to have as an artist is to be able to drop music and people know exactly what you're trying to convey when your music drops. That's it today for episode six off the Explain the Series. Tomorrow we are going to be discussing the song Wait. It's actually a single that I dropped or the album. So if you haven't got a chance to listen to it, listen to that. And I'll be back with the uh, video description for that song as well. You guys have a good day. And his subject tonight is the awful. I'm always on the go, but I stay low key. And I really want to shine when it comes to me. I think all the time who I really want to be. I dream sometimes and I'm on that stage. And then other times I just really want to rage. I really don't like when I get that way. Someday my name going to be a mainstay.